Swissy murdered Sissy. Swissy murdered Sissy, the Empress of Austria, Empress Elizabeth, called Sissy. Swissy's murder weapon for the Empress, a metal file with a wooden grip on it, straight in the heart. The smiling killer in Geneva where the Empress got murdered. He is not in handcuffs, protected by the Swiss cops, who were totally absent at the time of the murder. How convenient. Eh, Swissy? Sissy, if you turn it around you get Isis. Of course it's the aristocracy of Pharaonic uh, descent. But uh, this, this was a good one, in spite of the name. Both cheated on by their, by their husbands, both, both of the um, royal pacifists, and both murdered by Swissy and Octogon. Same destiny, and still very much beloved by the people. Well, the Empress got murdered in Switzerland, in the motherland, in, in Geneva, where all the NGOs are. Not really by an Italian. He was a Swiss product, and he was not an anarchist, because she was a pacifist and an anti-militarist. And an anarchist doesn't kill any pacifist. The murderer was a Swiss product, and I'll explain that to you later on. Octagon again. This looks old here. This probably it's wood. It's probably the way the Empress used to take. Yeah. And the castle is here, but it's closed. But I'll find a way in. Who cares? It's probably the descendants here, you know. Be surprised. Yeah, it says the entrance of the of the palace of the Empress. So here's the main entrance. Some funny symbols here. Uh, where is it now? Uh, there it is. Weird. And of course there's a lion, the symbol of the aristocracy and the uh, with some horns like Isis horns on it. Oh, come, on. Oh, come on you stupid. And uh, yeah it's a symbol of the, uh, the pharaonic dignity. And well the pharaohs became the aristocracy. Okay, what else can I say? Well, here it is. This is the place it is, Bad Ischel. And uh, yeah, all crowns and aristocracy. Three hills, Isis, Horus, and Set. It's eagles all over, you know, all over Austria and all towns it is there. And here it says, well, this is the castle. If I won't make it, you see the castle here. I don't know if you can see it. No, I don't think so. And uh, well, it's closed anyway. So uh, let's see if we're going to sneak in somewhere. I suppose that's the castle. Oh, there's a nice sun hieroglyph. Now, of course, there are you know crowns everywhere. I mean, there's the aristocracy, the upper aristocracy. Lions everywhere. There you go. It's part of a lion. Oh well. Where are you? There he is. So, Empress Sisi. If you turn around, you get Isis. And uh, I'll tell you some more later. Most people would have given up at the main entrance, but not me. I walked around and I thought, well, I'd dig a hole under the fence. And I found this here. So I'm inside the Emperor's garden, there's nobody here, 
<laughs> Why should there be? <laughs> well, let's have a look. Of course, it's all oct octagon. It's octagon shape. Uh, I think down there was another one. Wonder who's living there. Descendants. Now this is interesting. At the uh, the land of the empress, there's a sort of a pyramid here. I don't know what it is. Well, I mean they're pharaohs, aren't they? Oh, what an awesome lawn! That would be awesome, you know, to put my tent here in the emperor's garden. Wow. So this was the Empress, her, her marble tea house. Look, it's octagon. I think it's, I don't know if it's octagon or hexagon. <clears throat> Would be nice sleeping here as well, eh? So the marble floor here. So that's the Marmor Schlüssel as the Empress. Apparently, 1865. Empress Sisi Elizabeth. She got murdered in Switzerland by Octagon, by the Templars, in the beginning of the 20th century. The Swiss did it, as always. I think she, got, she was very beloved here in Austria, like sort of Lady Diana. You know, they still love her. So, and I wouldn't be surprised if the Swiss murdered Lady Diana as well. The Templars behind it. It's just an air attack. It's the Allies, I suppose. It's just a bombing raid, don't worry. It's on a Saturday, it probably means shopping time is over. So this is a tea house, you know. Must have been a hell of a teapot if you ask me. Be a house like that. The tea house. Well, and there she probably is with uh, uh, Kaiser Franz Josef, and she was her her cousin. You know, that's what pharaohs do. You know, it's incest all over. Fuck your mother, and your son will be a brother. You know, that's the whole idea. And. Um, Says the Empress. There she is, Pharaohs. Maybe the Swiss weren't weren't invited, you know, for the tea party. So they murdered her. Sort of in Geneva. They murdered her in Geneva. Yeah, the Templars did. Maybe it has to do with the First World War. Maybe the Austrians. You know, maybe they didn't want to join. Like, so I murdered them. Murdered in Switzerland. They always got the dirty little fingers in it somehow. So they stabbed her. You know, when she wanted to go into the boat, have a, you know, go on Lake Geneva. Oh, there it is again. Oh. 
Murdered by Octogon in Geneva. Swissy did it. Maybe you never knew, honey. If you knew what I know now, eh? Oh, today it's such a nice day. Well, let's have the RT outside there, hey? Well, there it is. This is the main palace here. I wonder if I should go there. You know, there's a car standing outside. Maybe I shouldn't. I can see it from here. Somebody on a cell phone from the 19th century or what? So, there's another octagon shaped thing. Or is it hexagon? So, that's the main palace. And, uh, and there's the tea house. For the ladies' gossip, not for the man's ears. Pharaohs, the empress' gossip of the pharaohs. I think I should stay in the high grounds. No. Maybe that's security. It looks like a CIA van. Uh, otherwise, I get the same problems like in the uh, the, Herm the Hermann Göring castle in uh, in Tsel am See. Same thing. So, Swiss he murdered the Empress, you see, in Geneva. I think it was at the beginning of the, uh, the 20th century. Probably had to do with the First World War. Swiss he did it again, as always. I mean, they got assassination squads all over the world, as I told you. I mean, I'm, I'm, quite, su I, I'm quite sure they did Lady Diana. I mean, they are the Templars. I wonder what all these funny forms are on the ground. Now there's the grail, meaning our blood is here. We are here, Pharaoh's here, our descendants are here. Oh, there it is, the sun hieroglyph. I knew I saw that before. There it is, Pharaoh's. All pharaohs. Okay, I got there. That was a nice one. Just ex exfiltrate now. Well, uh, look, you know, getting out here. Oh, actually, I could have gone in here. Oh. Oh. Did you hear that? Well, that's where I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Apparently, the park is so big of the emperors that they they were hunting in it. You know, but you can hear. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm in the Emperor's Garden. I've got one of those 10% nobility beers. There's my tent. Yeah, I'm going to sleep there. I've got it all set. I'm going to listen to the radio. And it's interesting, you know. 
they're Swissy and they're Sissy. And in Geneva, Swissy murdered Sissy. Good night. Oh, hello. It's going to be a nice sleep. Well, here I am. I'm Bart Jules. <laughs> How do you like my awesome pronunciation? Having slept in the Imperial Gardens here. That's me sleeping rough in the Imperial Gardens. I had some very weird dreams though, which I normally don't. The dreams were about Swissy murdered Sissy, Empress Elizabeth, and Emperor Franz Josef. They hardly talk about him, it's, all, it's always about the Empress, because she was, you know, like Lady Diana, she was quite. Uh, Quite famous and beloved. Some nice trees here. My royal beer, ten percent alcohol. Look, I found some old pottery next to the tea house here of the, uh, of the Empress. I'll really give it to somebody. I found it where I slept. So, see, this is the tea house. There's the palace. And there's my. There's probably more, like the teapot she was using. Yeah, the same symbols, I think. I saw it somewhere, these three things there. I did see it. Two times. So, well. Oh, there it is too. Looks a bit like it. I saw it somewhere else. I think this is also a bit similar. This thing here, only this is four. And these ones are like three. Well, oh well. Oh, I see what it is. That's Jesus on a cross. Here's his hand, you know, his arm. Here's his head, his torso, the hip, the leg, the knee, and here the foot. It's half, here the other half. So this is his right hand. That's Jesus on a cross. At the uh, the Empress uh, Tea House. <clears throat> yeah, that is part of that symbol that I found on the on the pottery. And here, there's octagon everywhere. So this is in the cottage here. And uh, <clears throat> almost looks like a Swiss cross. That's why she got murdered. Uh, she wrote poems about the uh, the Nibelungen. Yeah, so I, t I told you in one of my films that that is pharaonic. It says her name is Sisi. Oh, that's Isis for Elizabeth. 
and um, so she was the uh, the Duchess of she came from Bavaria but she was the cousin of the Emperor Franz Josef yeah and uh, well yeah so they got engaged in 1853 not very long after the Swiss killed them they were very much in love true love it says she got murdered that's what i thought at the end of the 19th century somebody told me uh, who thought he knew it was uh, she knew it that was the uh, the beginning of 20th century right? then it was in 1898 that's what i thought there was a an, an italian an energy anarchist luigi luceni yeah in geneva well this is what Swissy does, you know. They said uh, the the Nazis did it, the Germans did it. They financed them. They said the uh, now they say the Muslims or in ISIS again, the Islamic State did it. They financed them through Qatar. Then they said an Italian anarchist did it. They financed them. So this was uh, Octagon, the Templars did it, and she was a very peaceful woman, you know, she didn't want any wars, she liked the nature, making poems, well the whole house, is f it's all full of poems she made here. They called the mountain, she called the mountain here, her, her magic mountain, this one here. Well, it looks like a pyramid, well it's hard to see maybe from this side. But from other, some other side, which I, I filmed before, it, it really looks like a pyramid. So, of course, that's magic for a pharaoh. But I think she was one of the, the better pharaohs, like Lady Diana. And they don't last very long. And those Templars, Swiss Templars, they... Uh, well, they did her. You know, because of the First World War coming up, and she didn't want any wars, you know. And I guess she was the one, you know, uh, telling her husband, you know, having a lot of influence on, on the Emperor. Yeah. I just talked to the, uh, the Croatian gardener here, and he said, there's nobody here, they are in Vienna today. Uh, so I'm going to leave that piece of pottery there. So today I'm going to ring. <laughs> yeah, that too. That's it. That's it. All these symbols there, you know, in the, in the lawn. There must be a reason for that. That, that. that looks like the same thing on the pottery. There it is. That's where I saw it. Yeah. And another thing, you know, the, the European world anarchism is from Switzerland, from the Jura Mountains in a place called, well, I can't recall the name now. Um, maybe I'll, but that's where it originates, you know, the, the anarchist movement. So it's all Swiss made anyway, you know, the murder of, uh, of uh, the, the Empress Sissi. Isis the Empress. Um, yeah. It says the Emperor died in November 1916 in the middle of the, the First World War. And it still it belongs here to the Habsburg Lorraine family. And the end of the monarchy was in 1918. So this is what Swiss he wanted. I mean, they, William Tell and all that stuff, you know, and the, the rights of the Templars, they, um, they fought against the Habsburg dynasty. So this was their, their ultimate revenge, you know, to kill the Empress, who might have been, in my eyes here, a nice person like Lady Diana. You know, she didn't want that war. The Templars want war. They wanted the First World War, so she had to go, she had to die. Uh, 
Oh, look, there are even fossils in the marble. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know, she loved nature, you know, and here she says, I'm so shy. It's not somebody who who would have uh, wanted uh, his or her country to go into the uh, the First World War. Yeah. So just before they uh, Swissy killed her. Swissy murdered Sissy. It is. Everywhere she talks about the magic mountain, that pyramid mountain there, just behind, just next to it. Here it is, saint -Imier. This is... Uh, the birthplace of uh, anarchism because the uh, Jura they were annexed by the uh, by the Swiss and uh, after the Battle of Waterloo you know in 1815 so this is here this is Jura they have an independence movement this is where I live officially and they had a um, so there's Boom where it is Here's Boom. There, Boom. So here is Beel. And there, somewhere, is. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. Centimere. There it is. A couple of years ago, they had the uh, 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> anniversary of the world uh, anarchism which is not a bad thing really but the sad thing is that the Empress herself was like an anarchist she didn't really like it you know to be in, uh, in the middle of all the um, in the middle of, of all of it you know she wanted to be like here in, with her magic mountain and her tea house <laughs> <laughs> and to be a normal person as her magic mountain from some sides it really looks like a pyramid if you look a bit further you know and uh, so there's a, a very heavy Swiss connection so this Italian anarchist who murdered her as in every organization the anarchists were of course they were infiltrated by octagon <laughs> As everything gets infiltrated, everything, even the German National Socialist Workers' Party, which was, well, it was not a workers' party anymore. So from inside, the, the, her own nobility, the Templars, uh, Sissy got murdered to uh, free the way for the First World War. And again, enormous... Wealth for Swissy. So there's a very big Swiss connection. saint Imier, the anarchist, this Italian guy. You know, what's an Italian anarchist doing in Switzerland anyway? Well, he went to the uh, to saint Imier, of course. And. Uh, they have a bar there where they have the anarchist uh, center of the world in saint -Imier. They came from all over the world a couple of years ago. You can look it up in the web. And uh, well, they, they got manipulated. It's, I went there a couple of times and I can tell you it's entirely infiltrated by the bad ones. Entirely. There's another fossil. In the, in the marble here, of Sissy's marble. So there's a, a huge Swiss connection. Octagon, the Templars, First World War coming up, the financing of wars, the center of anarchism in saint Switzerland, and the murder in Switzerland, in Geneva, of Sissy, the Empress, who didn't really want to be the Empress. She just wanted to be here with her magic mountain. And... Um, yeah, I know it all. So if somebody wants to know more of the Habsburg family, well, you can contact me. 
So here at Sissy's marble tea house, it's full of fossils. Yeah, it's hard, it's stone. So that means, here too, that means, there's another one. That means a living creature can turn into stone, very hard stone, into marble. So that means too that the pyramids, the granite of the pyramids, has been another, could have been another material before. I mean, if a living creature can turn into stone, I mean, they built the pyramids. I know they built them with the uh, concrete, you know. They brought the sand up there. And they brought the water up there, that's how they did it. And here's the proof, you know, a living creature can turn into stone. Well, here's another one. Yeah, it's full of it. Yeah. Fossils. Stone. Hard as stone. A living creature has turned into stone. And there's another one. <coughs> so... I'm going to leave the pottery there with my card. Apparently there's nobody there. They went to Vienna. Uh, so this is the old world order. They got finished in 1918. Really, after the First World War. And um, Sissy had to die to make the First World War possible, because she would never have allowed it. You know, she loved the Mahu Magic Mountain, she loved the nature, she didn't like bombs and bombs and guns, and she loved poems and all that. So, this is here where the... Uh, this is part of history where the Old World Order, you know, got replaced with the, by the New World Order. It's funny, we find the same thing in Egypt. Where the, uh, in Karnak, I think. Maybe that's a ma magic mountain. <laughs> Who knows? So that's why they, the New World Order, they the Templars, they murdered Sissy. She was probably too sweet. And another interesting thing, she's from the Royal House of Bavaria, just says um, Himmler, Heinrich Himmler, the head of the SS, he got, uh, he, he, he got brought up together with the Prince of Bavaria later on, you know, probably not as nice as Sissy was. And I had a very funny dream, you know, related to it. Uh, maybe I'll tell you one day. Sun Euroglyph. Swissy murdered sissy Empress Elizabeth of the huge Austrian Hungarian Empire better known as sissy was a pacifist anti-militarist and against any idea of a world war so she had to go it says in German, she was a pacifist, anti-militarist, 
uh, even a revolutionary, and she wanted to abolish the monarchy. It says, it says the Empress Kaiserin in German. Therefore, Octogon of the Templars and the Sisters of Isis hosted the first anarchist congress, congress in 1866, Geneva, in the motherland of all evil and all NGOs in the Alps, in the hope to find some assassins, so no emperor could stop that huge Horus matrix by cannon fodder on the battlefields for Isis and Seth on to recreate man into an obedient garden gnome. I'll just punch pause. I want to read that and put it in the links. And indeed, from that date on, the old world order got shaken by a whole series of anarchist assassinations of key figures. It was so much of a success that some more anarchist congresses were hosted by those organized criminals with the country in the Alps in 1872, 1873, etc. in Saint-Imier. And therefore, in 2012, the World Anarchist Congress was held again in Saint-Imier, Switzerland, in Espace Noir. A place I know very well, where real anarchism and intelligent people are ignored, and not very bright, lost souls get moulded into police agitators for octagon and into political assassins for octagon, under the camouflage of leftist anarchism, in fact ordered by the Templars far right, as they found and shaped Luigi Luceni. A resident of Switzerland, born in Paris, France, of an Intel Italian mother, brought up in an orphanage and turned into an anarchist in Octagon, Switzerland. A lost soul elected to murder the Empress in Geneva, Switzerland in 1998, where Swiss police protection was absent at the moment, of course, in order to realize World War one. Here you can see, you know, it's all, it's all in Switzerland, in Saint-Imier, Neuchâtel, Switzerland, Bern, Switzerland, and I can tell you, you know, this Switzerland is the most, the, you know, the highest hi hierarchy. You know, it's all in Switzerland. Nobody is alike. You know, anybody, someone who has more money, you know, he's worth more than you know. It's all. N Nobody is alike, you know. There's absolutely no equality in Switzerland, you know. So it's just it's, it's just a lie, you know. Here of Geneva in Switzerland, the first congress in Geneva, in Basel, Switzerland, the fourth congress in the 19th century. This is where it all started, you know. And this is, you know, it's 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 the biggest, the oldest dictatorship in the world. <laughs> well, they don't give a rat's ass for any, you know equality among peoples or you know or anarchist idea not at all nobody in the in the in the whole of switzerland cares about anarchism i tell you it's all a camouflage it's all a setup you know to murder for octagon of the knights templars of switzerland because the swiss are absolutely not like this Neither do they have any real Red Cross or people caring in the NGOs for human rights. There's nothing at all of the kind. It's the place where the financial elite of the whole world is and the, uh, the base of the Templars and all evil. It's not neutral. Well, you know what I mean. And in fact, a real anarchist would never murder a pacifist and anti-militarist that Sissy was. And in fact, she was even more of an anarchist than a Swiss assassin, with an Italian name for camouflage, who got suicided in prison ten years later. A well-known Swiss practice until this very day, to silence up all witnesses, so Swissy could say, well, the anarchist from Italy did it, 
just says only 42 years later, the, the Nazis from Germany did it. Or today, Islamic State did it. Never the Swiss did it. They never did anything. You know, they're so neutral and so innocent, you know, and, and, and so honest. Yeah. Then, a whole lot of Swiss anarchist murders happened to enable World War I. In 1900, Italian King Umberto I got assassinated by a Swiss-formed anarchist. In 1901, US President McKinley got murdered by a Swiss-formed anarchist. And a whole long list of many others. So the old world order started hiding in the secret Mason New World Order. So here you can see the whole list of it. Just punch pause so you can read it all. A whole lot of assassination plots and assassinations on, on the aristocracy. You know, having so here's Elizabeth, of course, here by Luigi Luceni in Geneva, and uh, here the Italian king. He was also a uh, an anarchist. You can all look it up. You know, if you if you punch this one here, and. Uh, it all started from the moment on the uh, the anarchist congresses in Switzerland started off. You know, that's where it all started. Actually, we had the, the US president somewhere. Yeah, William McKinley by Leon Kogosh. Well, if you look it up, you know, you can you can find in, in Wikipedia. Oh, he says here, he's an, he was an, an, an anarchist. No, he was in Switzerland too. They all were. And there, here. The Umberto. And, um... If you look it up in... in uh, here, it says, an anarchist. Again. A whole list. And it all started with those Swiss... Um... Congresses. Anarchist congresses. Well, they don't, they don't give a rat's ass about anarchists anyway. It was all, you know, to um, to enable World War One. Well, and here World War One started. You see the whole list, and it goes on and it goes on. I tell you, Swiss, you always got the dirty little fingers in it everywhere. And of course, here the last assassination, just of the uh, the Erzherzog Franz Ferdinand. Uh, by Gavrilo Princip in Sarajevo, which started off the World War One, So, they achieved their goal. Both World Wars were Swiss-made by Octogon, with both Hitler and the German warmonger Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II visiting Ulrich Wille Sr. and Jr., as the Swiss have always been the killers for the aristocracy, and for the Pope, with the Swiss octagon of the Templars and their Swiss mercenaries leading to that widespread saying in the medieval Central Europe, saying, Dear God, protect us from the plague and from the Swiss. So here you can see the Emperor visiting uh, Zurich in 1912. And this is how the Swiss media and the Swiss, how they called him. They called him the Messiah from Berlin. Well, what do you know? The Messiah from Berlin. You know, making Switzerland rich, eh? So here he is, Ulrich Wille Senior, the general. And uh, the warmonger from Germany, the guy who gave the order, you know, to uh, for World War II, uh, one. Wilhelm II, the Emperor from Germany, he even visited him at home. Just like, you know, not only, you know, in 1923, ten years later, 
Adolf Hitler, he visited his son Ulrich Wille Jr., also general, and who financed Mr. Hitler. And that was only 10 years or a little bit more after they murdered the Empress Sissy. And it's all, it's all related. You know, the aristocracy, they kill people, you know, among each other to enable a world war. And it's always Switzerland, you know, behind it. I'm putting in the links for you. It says how Ulrich Wille, how he honored the uh, the emperor. I'll put in the links for you as well. The warmongers in Switzerland. The warmongers of Switzerland. And this is why Sissy had to die. Just that this happened a little bit later. Also in Switzerland. And there he is, Swissy. Uh, probably also behind the murder on Sissy. Married to Gräfin von Bismarck. This is the aristocracy, the fair aristocracy. Sissy was indeed Austria's Lady Diana, against wars and cheated upon by her husband through his multiple sexual conquests and endless affairs. And I have no doubt that Swissy and the Octagon also terminated Diana by the Boston Breaks, just as they did with Sissy. The two Queen of Queens, both of them still loved and honoured by their people. The Swiss always have their dirty little fingers in it. Bye-bye, sissy. I'm so sorry for what they did. <laughs>